what would be the next step? The next step would be to run a gauge R&R study on the complete measurement system. Uh, the complete measurement system is the sum of the fixture, the measuring device, but also the environment and the operator. Let me provide some context here for those of you who are not familiar with gauge R&R studies. The preparation is similar to the repeatability study, except that we use 10 different parts measured three different times each by three different operators. There are two main objectives when running the gauge R&R study. First, we want the equipment variation plus the appraiser variation to be at most 20% of the part tolerances. Second, we also want to make sure our measurement system is capable of measuring the manufacturing process variation. This second goal is really important if you want to use the measurement results for statistical process control. The supplier conducted the full r, &R study and integrated all the results in the updated uh, Excel spreadsheet as he did for the repeatability study. Here are all the results of the preliminary analysis. Operator A produced measured results with a large variability. Uh, the deviation range colour map for the three trials of piece one clearly shows the deviation range going up to 4 mil. We have the corresponding results uh, in the r, &R range chart. Then, if we look at the r, &R average chart, we can see that the average deviation values for the operator A are always way off compared to the rest of the results of the two operators. One, op one operator's results stand out from the others. In fact, during, this, um, during the study, operator A pointed out that our fixture design wasn't great, as he could see that the part bending when pressing on the fourth clamp. Operator B and C could somehow compensate for this fixture design issue and produce more repeatable results. No need to say that we did not obtain uh, good results in this gauge r, &R study. The results are way above the acceptable 20 or 30%. And as you know, this fixture needs to be redesigned.